it's Lou and welcome back to my channel. It's already July so happy birth month to me. Well since it is a special month for me, I want to welcome it with something special and really close to my heart which is editing photos. So for this video, I will share with you how I edit edit my Instagram photos. Before we start, sorry to the sunrise. <laughs> Wala akong magawa. Inaraman ko na siya pero wala eh. Ganyan talaga. Lumulusot siya sis. So a lot of you probably knows this or knows this. So a lot of you probably knows this app already. This app is called Lightroom. Ayan. So what we'll be doing of course, kung meron ka ng app na ito, i-open mo na yung application mo. But kung wala pa, of course, download mo muna sis. Ayan. So, once na na-download na natin, ayan ang aking phone. Ayan. So, pupunta na tayo sa Lightroom. And as you can see, meron na dito different photos dyan. Lahat yan, raw photos and taken by me using my phone only. Ayan, raw photos yan, walang edit or walang halong keme-keme. Some of these, um, siguro na-upload yun na sa Instagram, sa Facebook, or sa Twitter, ganyan. So, ang gagawin natin is pipili tayo ng isang photo na makisilbing model natin and i-edit ko for this video. So, siguro, ito na lang. So, this photo was taken for my vlog, yung latest vlog ko, which is yung DIY photo grid. Hindi nyo pa napapanood, ito siya. Yan, go check it out. Super dali lang yan gawin. So, as you can see, meron tayong dalawang box dito. Sa upper box, ayan yung actual photo na ini-edit natin or i-edit natin for this video. And then, yung sa dito sa lower box is yung settings na i-adjust natin sa Lightroom para ma-achieve yung effect or yung filter na gusto natin for this photo. So, from this point, I want you to be patient sa pag um, manonood if you really want to achieve yung filter na yan. Kasi, this is for a beginner, siguro you'll probably think na ano ba yun, ang dami naman ginagawa, ang dami na adjust and all that. But, I'll tell you na sa umpisa lang yan, once na nakuha na natin yung template na gusto natin for the filter na gusto natin ma-achieve, at the end of this video, super dali na lang yung gamitin. Kasi, at the end of this video, ituturo ko din sa inyo kung paano nyo siya pwedeng ma-save into a preset para the next time that you want to use it again, sa iba namang photos, ganyan. It's just one click away na lang. So, let's start. So, as you can see, sa baba natin, meron tayong different sections dyan. Ayan. Natin. Ang una natin i-adjust is yung sa light na section. So, as you can see, meron exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, and so on. Madami pa yun sa baba. For the exposure, let's make it positive 1.42. For the contrast, let's make it plus 2. For the highlights, let's make it negative 75. Shadows, negative 97. Whites, negative 63. Blacks, positive 100. So, as you can see, meron ng changes. Na adjust na kahit pa paano yung photo natin. Ayan siya ng row. And then, ito na siya ngayon. Yung adjust natin sa light section pa lang yan. And then after that, proceed na tayo sa next section, which is yung color. So as you can see, sa color meron yung different and options then like temperature, tint, vibrant, saturation, so ganyan, ganyan So for the temperature, let's maintain it that way, 0. For tint, plus 1. For vibrant, let's make it negative 15. And for saturation, negative 12. And then, as, as you can see, sa upper right corner, meron dyan parang color palette. Yung pabilog na parang color color, ganyan. Meron dyan different um, colors like red, orange, yellow, green, ganyan, ganyan. I-adjust natin to isa-isa. Each color meron niyang hue, saturation, and then luminance. For the red, let's make U positive 13. Saturation, positive 100. Luminance, let's maintain it that way, 0. Proceed na tayo sa next color, which is yung orange. U, let's make it negative 1. Saturation, positive 7. For the color yellow, yung U, gawin natin negative 7. Saturation, negative 92. Luminance, positive 68. For color green, maintain lang natin yung U. 0, saturation, negative 38, luminance, negative 18, ayan, 
And then for the color light blue or parang turquoise or whatever man yan, yung U, gagawin natin positive 9 to 7. Saturation, negative 92. Luminance, negative 31. For dark blue or royal blue, yung U, let's maintain it that way, 0. Saturation, negative 78. Luminance, negative 37. For the next color, which is yung violet, yung U, maintain it that way. Saturation, plus 1. Luminance, negative 47. Ayan. And then yung last color is yung push up pink. Or yung pink, yung U, maintain it that way then. Saturation, negative 24. Luminance, negative 51. Ayan. Ganyan na yung dapat na adjustment when it comes to the color palette. So, i-click nyo lang yung done and then proceed na tayo sa next section which is yung effects. So, for the effects, we have texture, clarity, and so on. Madami pa yan. So, for this effects na section, ang gagalawin lang natin is yung clarity and greens. So, in texture, yan, maintain it that way. For the clarity, gagawin natin siyang plus 19. And then, scroll up, scroll up. Yung grain, gagawin lang natin positive 8. Ayan. And then after that, proceed na tayo sa next section which is yung details. So, we are down to our last section already. So, for this section, ang gagalawin lang natin or i-adjust yeah, lang natin is yung sharpening noise reduction and color noise reduction. For the sharpening, let's make, let's make it 19. Ayan. And then scroll up. Sa noise reduction, let's make it 18. And then scroll up ulit. For the color noise reduction, let's also make it 18. And that's it! That's it guys! Tapos na tayo mag-adjust-adjust. -adjust. So, ang next na ituturo ko naman sa inyo is kung paan nyo siya pwedeng magamit ulit sa ibang photos in a copy-paste way or preset way. So, kung makikita nyo, sa upper right corner ulit, meron dyang three dots. Ayan. Pag-indict nyo yan, ayan yung mga options na lalabas. So, kung gusto nyo lang itry, like for example, kung ngayon, nag-follow kayo at gusto nyo itry sa ibang photos, pwede nyo i-click yung copy settings and then punta kayo sa ibang photo, then yung three dot button ulit, and then paste settings. But, if you want to keep it forever, well, forever, you can also save it as a preset para the next time that you want to use it, it's just one click away na lang. So, para masave nyo yan as a preset, sa upper right corner ulit, yung three dots. Ayan, click nyo yung create preset and then name it based on how you'd like to call it. Ayan, like for example dito, Happy Lou Wonder. Ah, Happy Lou Wonder. And then, just click yung check. So, since this time, sinave natin siya as preset. So, since this time, sinave na natin siya as a preset. Para magamit nyo siya, pupunta lang ulit kayo dun sa mga sections sa baba, mga in-adjust natin kanina. Go to presets, and then hanapin nyo lang dun yung pangalan na ginawa nyo. So, in this case, Happy Lou Wonder. Ayan, hanapin natin yung Happy Lou Wonder, click lang natin yan, and then yan. And then, ganun lang, paulit-ulit lang sa ibang photos. What's around, ignore all expectations. Even when we should go out To what's behind and see what will come So guys, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you do, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel.